here. On your top, you have Zinye. On the bottom, it's Tiddler Celestial. So it seems like Zinye has started out with a Warlock, and Tiddler Celestial has started out with Druid. If I'm not mistaken, I saw a quick glimpse there, and swipe, seeing the swipe does confirm it. So, Tiddler Celestial starting out with a turn 1 Zombie Chow play. So, actually I find Zombie Chow quite interesting in, as opposed to Warlock because basically what it means is that Warlock can tap for free uh, for a couple of turns, but it does mean that uh, it does mean that Tiddler has a strong minion out on the board. Two free drop for only one mana. It's quite, quite the big minion there. And I f this is not the round of 16, by the way, this is the round of 8, so that needs to be updated. Undertaker being played by Zingye and coins uh, for an abusive... Or, or no, for an Arubian egg, I didn't even see that one in his hand, as Grid wasn't updated yet. So it does have two free Undertaker on the field right now. And Tiddler has to think about how he wants to trade that one effectively off. He has a Wrath available for himself, so he could use the Wrath to get rid of uh, the Undertaker. One thing he could also do is he could attack the, with the Zombie Chow into the Undertaker, leave the Zombie Chow up, means that it will still have one health remaining, and then use the Wrath, but use its one damage effect to draw a card. Or he could just transform and attack into it, but it does seem like he's going to go for the free damage variant of the Wrath to get rid of that one and do 2 damage to Zingye. So he probably doesn't want Zingye to get any more free health than he is already getting from the Zombie Chow. Once it does that, Abusive Sergeant now coming out and Zingye really unlucky there. So what Zingye wanted to do is um, summon something and let the Knife Jugglers effect trigger and hoping that it would hit the Zombie Chow but both the Nerubian Egg and the four for Nerubian, neither of them hitting the zombie chest, so it is still standing and still shuffling. And probably Tiddler is gonna run it into the knife juggler, not giving Zingye any more minions to proc it off. But he's taking his time. One play he could also do is he, he could just swipe and, and then attack. So Tiddler Celestial very effectively clearing out the board. Now Zingye goes for the tap here and draws himself a Flame Imp. So goes ahead and plays Direwolf Alpha. So next turn Tiddler now has 5 mana and has Ascended Shield Mask, but he could also innervate for an Ancient of Lore or an Ancient of War here. It's going to go for a very defensive play with the Ancient of War here turning it into a 5-10 ton and it kind of forces Zingye to play out his Iron Beak Owl because he doesn't really have any other way to get rid of big minions uh, yet. It has a Sea Giant but can't play that one just yet because he doesn't have enough sufficient cards in his hand. And I would imagine that he would be wrapping up cards pretty soon. So Tiddler now left with a 5-5 five five and another swipe for Tiddler but is probably not gonna play that. It's just gonna s play it very defensively, very calm and collected. Is probably gonna save the swipe for uh, another big minion that Zingye might be playing. I feel that Tiddler doesn't want to expend his swipe on low level minions when he has defensive options like this. Another knife juggler coming out for Zingye. And Zingye. Going for the implosion play here does get exactly free damage on that minion. So triple imp, one dagger landing into Tiddler, second dagger landing into Tiddler, and the third one as well. And that will leave that Send and Shield Master untouched. And this might be a perfect time to swipe here. Of course, that would mean that all of Tiddler's swipe are expended though. But board is cleared and card advantage still in favor of Tiddler. Both players now having equal amount of cards, Zingye drawing his 4th and possibly his 5th once he taps. 
Let's see what that is. That is a Void Walker, so he can bolster his defenses a little bit with that. So, two taunts now on the field for Xingye. That flame imp being taunted, and now the Ancient Allure being hovered over. And gets more card advantage there. And Kel'Thuzad being drawn by Tiddler. So, all he has to do is keep those minions alive for him to generate a lot of advantage coming back from that one. And that's going to be so hard for Xingye to get over. Void Walker in his hand tab. So what does he get from it? Defender of Arc is good card there. Might be able to make a good play, set up an entire board of taunters for Tiddler to deal with. Of course, Tiddler doesn't have any swipes available. He used both already. Defender of Argus is going to be played out of Voidwalker, is going to be saved, trades off the Flame Imp. And Tiddler now drawing into Harrison Jones, but is he going to play Kelfuzad right now? I do wonder. He's going to save. Save is Kelfuzad, play to Sylvanas Windrunner first. So. Tiddler is probably hoping that his Sylvanas Windrunner will survive the next turn. And that Zinye doesn't have anything in response for that one that or that Zinye can drop a big creep where so he can run his Sylvanas Windrunner into that one. And technically he does, but no way for Tiddler to actually suicide his Sylvanas Windrunner into that one. So But here comes a card that Tiddler is pretty damn happy to see, but which is he gonna steal? Is it gonna be a defender of Argus? The Sea Giant or the Void Walker. He's thinking about it, but playing this very conservatively. Has 10 mana left. It's gonna go Wild Grove for an X's mana just to get his cart engine going. As he still will have 8 mana left to play Kelfuzad. But first wants to dig through his deck a little bit, and that is an Ancient of a War coming out. Big game hunter sniping down that sea giant and Tiddler in an excellent position here and Zingy just not drawing the cards he need has a doom guard in hand and of course that can't charge but it's not going to be too helpful but maybe with the abuse of sergeant might prove useful later on but all Tiddler has to do is do 11 damage to Zingy next turn and he will have one has nine on the field already another wild growth wouldn't be too surprised to see him trying to draw. I'm not too sure if Tiddler does play a uh, Savage Roar. He could try and search for that one. Maybe draw it with um, the X's mana card, but does decide against it. Plays it very defensively yet again. Suicides the Sylvanas Windrunner and takes control of that Defender of Argus. And now Zingye sitting at only 6 HP. A tap would be lethal, but also necessary right now. Look. What is the card that Zinye is going to draw? It is going to be an Undertaker. Goes for a tap, and that is a Harvest Golem. And Zinye can't do anything. And that is surely going to be game. Concedes his Warlock game. And Tiddler. Hey there, welcome back everyone to the Netties Gold Series Hearthstone Quarterfinals. This is game two between Zingye and Tiddler Celestial. Zingye's Warlock being defeated overwhelmingly by Tiddler's Druid. Tiddler again repeating his first turn play from the previous game, going for a turn one Zombie Chow.
So, excuse me for this quick pause there. I have to check up on something here. So, what is Zingye gonna do right here? Unstable portal. And it gets a sea giant for his trouble there. Only costing six mana. Pretty happy about that one, I'd say. And Tiddler revealing his MC tech. I'm not too sure what is happening with the overlays right now, as this is, of course, the Chinese feed, so I can't really tell what's happening here. Pile of Shredder coming out for Zinye. And Keeper of the Grove going to be used to silence that one. Make sure that Zinye doesn't get any minions from it. And there are the overlays back. Excuse me for any inconvenience, but we can see Tiddler and Zinye in all their glory right now. Now let's take a quick look. 5 mana for Zinye. He can play the Sea Giant, but of course knowing that Tiddler plays that big game Hunter, it would be a little bit of a risk. Does decide to expend all his mana for that one, but Tiddler calmly drops that big game Hunter, snipes down the Sea Giant, and another 4 damage landing on to Zinye, who's now sitting at 21. Now sitting at 6 mana, nothing really that he can play, except for maybe the Mana Worm, and then casting some spells to buff it up. Has a second Mana Worm though, so he can set up his board quite nicely. And Frostbolting that Zombie Child would buff him back up to 26 health, but of course that, um, that Big Game Hunter would still be standing. So Frostbolt is going to come across onto the Keeper of the Grove and the last Fire Blast going to be used to get rid of that one. So now Tiddler, to clear the board, he has to trade quite equally, but doesn't really care about that. Has an Ancient of War available for himself and trades quite evenly. Leaves the Mana Worm standing, but pretty much the best play that Tiddler could have done at that point. Now, no mech on this field for Zingye, so can't really play the Blast Maze Magician just yet, but double Boombots now on the field, and Kel Fuzad being drawn at exactly the time that Tiddler has 8 mana, and he's thinking about it, he's thinking, am I gonna sacrifice my minions here and play Kel Fuzad to set up my board again? He's thinking about it, gives 5 health back, but is not gonna do it, he's gonna play very, very cautiously. I haven't seen Tiddler play recklessly just yet. Plays it very very carefully. Unstable portal being hovered over. Double blast mage. So is going to play that one. Being divided equally. Two in the healthiest Ancient of Lore and two landing into Tiddler. This one being split up a little bit more. Boombot landing. Where's the bomb going to land? Is going to land on the Ancient of uh, War. And the second one landing into Tiddler himself for the full Four damage, so that's going to leave him with a five-six ancient of war. Innervate now coming out. Tiddler going to keep on drawing cards and generate card advantage. Tiddler just so, so, so conservative with his card, but playing them so well as well. Doesn't seem like Tiddler expends any more cards than he needs to, and just plays it very methodically. Whereas I feel that Zinye is playing a little bit more recklessly, and it has been paying off for Tiddler. Now, Unstable Portal still in Zinye's hand is probably going to play it in hopes that he gets something good out of that one. What's it going to be? <laughs> is this going to be a Wisp? <laughs> probably the worst minion that Zinye could have gotten, and you can feel. You can feel the salt on his face right now. Out of all the minions in Hearthstone, I got this one. And he reveals it. And Tiddler is kind of confused here. He's thinking, what's going on here? But he can probably see that it has been created by the Unstable Portal. And Zinge just decides to drop it saying, look, this is what I've got from the Unstable Portal. Try to deal with it. This is my 1-1 Wisp. Shit. Shade of Noxram is being drawn by Tiddler. I'm kind of wondering if he wants to use the Wrath with the 1 damage just to get rid of the Wisp and draw a card, just to generate more card advantage. I 
I feel really bad for Zinye right now. After seeing that wisp, I would have, I would have granted him a Ragnaros. I would have granted him an Alexstrasza. I would have granted him Tyrion. I would have granted, even granted him Archmage and Tinnitus. But of, out of all the minions, he has gotten a wisp. Tinkertown Technician is gonna suffer from the damage, and it seems like Tiddler is gonna take a little bit of damage as well. Running into that one, he's just gonna leave that wisp standing. Double Innervate still available, but is going to save that one up until a next turn play. And now, Zingye. Wondering what card he has drawn. Harvest Golem, but he has nothing to get rid of that Shade of Nox Ramas. So, just decides to do as much damage as possible. Keeper of the Grove still available for Tiddler, but he draws into a much better card, the Sludge Belcher. And feeling that his Shade of Nox Roms is pretty safe right now. Opts to get rid of that Wisp. Ends it out of his misery. Double Innervate into Kelfuzad. Now coming out, putting a tremendous pressure on Zinye. And now Zinye, with only two cards on the field and two cards in his hand has to get rid of that kill Fuzat, but that's not gonna happen anytime soon Tiddler in complete control of this game just showing with his prowess of his card conservation Zingye with that extremely unlucky unstable portal into a wisp Shade of Noxram is just coming stronger and stronger and I think that might be the nil in the coffin for Zingye as Tiddler draws into another Sludge Belch, and that means that Shade of Noxoramas can only grow and grow and grow stronger. And this is such just such a hard board for Zingye to get over because if he needs to get rid of Kelfuzad first and then the Sludge Belchers. It is just too much for Zingye to handle. Which card does he get from that one? Gets a switch from it. That's, of course, going to flip the attack and health values of a monster, but... It doesn't really matter. He shakes his head as he looks at the clockwork gnome that was added to his hand. And Zinya just deciding to go for as much as he can. Kills the Sludge Belch, but of course it doesn't really matter. Kill Fuzad will trigger. And Zinye conceding and Tiddler Celeste. Welcome back to game three of the NetEase Goals Series quarterfinals. This is the game between Zingye and Tiddler Celestial. Zingye being two games down. And it seems like Tiddler is well on his way on a 3 0 sweep here. And now Zingye has to win three games in a row to move towards the semifinals here. I know it says the round of 16, but I think that might be an error. So, first play for Zingye is going to be a shade of Nox Ramas. Tiddler gonna go ahead and bust out the zombie Chow and attack straight for Zingye. Tiddler going a little bit on the aggressive but can't do anything otherwise. Of course he can't target that Shade of Nox Ramas with anything. Swipe also not being able to be used onto that Shade of Nox Ramas. So all that Tiddler can do is wait until it gets revealed. But I don't think that Zingye has any plans to reveal it anytime soon. So, Tiddler now with his own shade of Noxramus. Downing between Zinye Shield Monster, but is going to go for his defenses. So, now if Zinye wants to do any damage, he needs to get through that Shield Monster and reveal it, of course. But, of course, that might not be entirely the case because Zinye does have a Keeper of the Grove available to silence that Sinjin Shield Master. Of course, now sitting at 5 mana goes for Spectral Knight instead. And finally, 
does decide to reveal that shade of Noxramus. Now, Tiddler immediately trading it with the zombie chow and has an innervate in his hand, so he's probably going to set up his defenses with the Ancient of Lore. But Xingye having a response for that in the form of uh, his Keeper of the Grove. Of course, it can't silence it and debuffing that Ancient of War to a 5-5 again, which makes it a little bit easier to take care of. But again, Xingye seems like a really aggressive player, just wants to do the damage. And Tiddler seems like a more of a calculated player where he will take a little bit more time, he will sacrifice... Uh, he will sacrifice minions to set up a better board advantage and never really goes for a reckless play, I feel, as far as I've seen right now. Now, Xingye has a Savage Roar in hand, so probably he's going to use that for a Force of Nature combo later on, but doesn't really have that card or the mana to get through that. So, But now he has to deal with a Sylvanas Windrunner. Of course, he used his Silence of the Keeper of the Grove. So, he needs to make sure to get something out on the field that Sylvanas can potentially take over or he needs to ignore Sylvanas completely but then again in the next two turns Sylvanas will probably die regardless because of Tiddler attacking into the Spectral Knight so Xingye is taking his time about how he wants to play this one out So swipe being an option, but that would leave Sylvanas into killing range of the Spectral Knight. But Xingye probably just accepting of that fact, wants to do as much damage as possible and buff up his mana pool. MC Tech being drawn by Tiddler hasn't... Actually, I think he revealed it in game 2. In game 1, he could have made a really good play stealing one of the minions away, but instead played it again very conservatively. and. Tiddler not attacking into the Spectral Knight, again, just playing it very defensively. Could have traded that Sylvanas to gain control of that Spectral Knight. Of course, that would mean the Spectral Knight would be sitting at 4-1, and the risk of a swipe would be imminent then. Xingye going to go ahead and wrap that Sludge Belcher and take it out, leaving that Spectral Knight at 4-3. Still sitting at 6 mana, he can innervate to an Ancient of Lore to draw some extra cards, generate some more card advantage, and I think that would be the first time that Xingye would be up in cards compared to Tiddler. Time is running out though, so eventually his plays have to be made, and it's actually gonna go for a Savage Roar play here, and Shapeshift, so actually very well played by Xingye, didn't see that one coming. I would have expected him to save his Savage Roar, but instead it's going for the aggressive here, but looking back at it, I'm not actually sure why he did that, and Tiddler is looking a little bit puzzled as well, thinking... Why did he play that Savage Roar to get rid of my Tonner? Ancient of Lore being hovered over can do 2 damage. As it Spectral Knight can't be targeted by spells or hero powers, but of course Keeper of the Grove is an effect rather than the two mentioned before. So now Xingye sitting at 19, has 9 mana and an Innervate. Harrison Jones in his hand, but no weapons for Tiddler, so the best he can do is just drop it as a normal minion. I feel that the best play that Xingye could do right now is just either play the low of Feb or the Ancient of Lord. Decides to go for the low of Feb, and that is going to put a little bit of a wrench in the plans of Tiddler. Can't swipe um, that low of Feb for as an effective cost as he would have, would cost 9 mana, but seems like Tiddler feels that this is a right time to trade off that Sylvanas Windrunner for the low effect, but then again, Tiddler can't just go on the aggressive here and inflict that 8 damage onto Xingye.
So it does decide to trade out Nox Robinson and MC Tech being dropped by Tiddler. And Tiddler going on the offensive here has a double swipe in his hand to take care of everything and anything that Zingay might drop at him. And let's see what the card that Zingay drawn was. It is a pilot to Shredder, so. But if he drops that one. He can drop both the Ancient of Lore and the Pilot of Shredder by using that Innervate, of course, and that would set him up for quite the strong board. But then again, Tiddler has a swipe and a Keeper of the Grove in hand, so has the answers to stop that. To silence that Pilot of Shredder and just swipe away the rest and attack into it. So 7 mana expended, as I can see right now, so it does seem like he is going to go for that... Ancient of Lore play. Seems like the stream actually still has to update. So there we have it. Ancient of Lore being dropped. Two cards being drawn. Dr. Boom and a Force of Nature. So Savage Roar already being expended, but I'm pretty sure there's still one in Zingye's deck. Time is running out though. Innervate into Pilot to Shredder is an option. So now is sitting at 18. And Tiddler can do 16 damage in total now if he expends his double swipe. Or I think a little bit more because he can still transform but decides to go for the excess mana. And gets an MC tech out of that one. Seems like Tiddler is going to go on the offensive here and swipe away pretty effectively to clear out the entire board, but is not going to use the f both four damages on Zingye. Is going to use one on the Ancient Lore, so quite effective play by him sweeping out the board. But again, he is suffering the risk from taking a whole bunch of damage next turn. Card drawn is an MC Tech, and Zingye is scratching his head a little bit thinking how am I going to get over this he needs to play the force of nature to get rid of at least a bit on the board so at the very least he will take free damage if he shapeshifts to destroy one of those two minions that are free free on Tiddler's board force of nature is being played and Tiddler is probably hoping that Zingye doesn't have a Force of Nature or uh, a Savage Roar available to him. Excuse me. It seems like he doesn't because he is attacking into it. And Tiddler must be pretty happy about that one. Pilot to Shredder potentially being dropped here. But no taunters, nothing to defend Zingye. So if he plays that Pilot to Shredder right now. He is a goner, but then again, I feel that he is a goner next turn as well. Tiddler looking into the camera saying, is this happening right now? And I'm, am I going to sweep free O? And it seems like that is going to happen as Innervate is going to be laid to drop that pipe to Shredder. And Zingye knows that it is over. Concedes and t 